now that we've uploaded half our website to the online version, uh, let's take a step back and create links that we require for our PayPal system to access uh, once the user is done and uh, the other one when the webhook. So let's try and go to let's go to the controllers here for a second and create a new controller so i'm just going to copy the home controller here uh, i'm just looking for one controller that isn't congested like the logout controller so copy this one and go to right click on the controllers um, folder and paste so this one is going to be called um, confirm or I don't know you can name it anything payment maybe payment controller that should be fine this one says uh, index yes and we are not going to load any models uh, maybe we might use a logout okay so we may uh, we're not going to load uh, to get any of these models because we but I'll leave that for now. We may need to create a model like that. So all we want to do in here, let me save this one as payment. Small letters here, very important to, to be consistent. Payment.php and save. Okay, so payment uh, class here. Now the payment, uh, uh, system here is going to receive this is going to be our webhook so it's going to receive information from PayPal now that information comes in not as post or as a get variable but it comes in as uh, PHP input as raw JSON data so we are not searching in the post like this or in the get like that no nope. We are searching in the uh, PHP input. So we use file get contents instead. And in here we will get uh, PHP full colon slash slash input like so. This is where we'll get the data. So say data is equal to like so. Okay, great. So once we have that data, this is the raw data that we can save inside our database. So for now, we don't know what data is being received. We're going to receive, right? So instead, what we're going to do is just save it to a file. So I'm just going to save it. Now, I don't want to use the same file. So what I would do is I'll create a file name here and I will use the time constant here, the time function, and just uh, put a dot maybe an underscore and say dot txt like that yeah that will be the file name and then i'll just say file put contents and that's the uh, file name and the data is obviously data like so okay that's about it so we're getting from paypal creating a file and saving our data that's it Alrighty then, so the payment uh, is done here. Then uh, let's go to, um, we need one more controller here. So let me right click and create new file. And this controller is, let me copy what's in the logout here. Or oh, maybe not here. Where is that? Let me try the uh, login controller. That's good copy that and let me paste here now this one is going to be the um, the thank you so we're just going to call it thank underscore I think we just call it thanks like that keep things simple thanks this is what the user sees when they after they pay so thanks for paying so I'll call this one thanks dot php there we go so here it will be the thanks page 
and what data are we sending that's all uh, load model user that's okay user login okay let me remove this here we don't need that there okay so we'll leave this for now as it is that's okay and we will need a view called thanks there just to go with it so let's go to views and inside eShop okay let's see here and I want a simple um, let's see the index page this is not so simple is it but let me just copy everything from here right click on eShop new and save it this is going to be the thanks.php paste in here and I'm going to remove everything apart from uh, section here open section maybe class container will remain maybe raw as well no I think just the container is good enough um, actually let's leave the raw as well let me just get we don't need the sidebar here this is just for information so I'll do this okay there we go there we go all right so here I'll just put an h1 header uh, like so and say thanks for shopping with us like so okay save that then come back to here and go instead of slash home let's go to slash thanks like so okay so thanks for shopping with us so typo there <clears throat> in fact let me change this to center like that maybe that will look much better I should have left the h1 tags in there <clears throat> excuse me and let me close that h1 there as well right click and refresh thanks for shopping with us now this is where the user is supposed to know whether the transaction went well or not so we're supposed to give them that message but we'll fix that shortly okay so now back to our file uh, upload we have our zip here public zip but let's go a to the home here and we're going to upload the uh, app version now since I've changed a few files here just to avoid uh, re-uploading those files again I'm just going to create a new archive again yeah so there we go I have the new one with the new files so I'm just going to say upload files and upload I will select files and I will go up a folder and select the up like so and upload so this shouldn't take long to upload because the file is so small mm -hmm. okay so that is done mm -hmm. so now that we are done here I can easily extract this one so select that and where is the extractor compress extract so click extract to app okay can't open the file no such directory exists that's weird extract the folder name for enter the folder name for the extraction app.zip hmm. yeah so that is failing to extract let's try um, the other this one here and yeah, let's try to extract this one see if it's gonna work so it's asking for a folder name still hmm okay so maybe it wants me to write a folder that exists right so let me just use that extract maybe that's gonna work this is actually my first time using uh, this hosting system so I'm not really familiar with uh, extracting files in here so hopefully this won't be a problem and it seems it's actually a problem hmm okay so never mind uh, we are already done for this episode I will go through it on the other side and uh, let you know how it's actually done 
I'll see you then.